It's easy to create a beam in effect similar to Star Trek when you're using Final Cut Studio. First, edit the background video to your sequence within Final Cut Pro. In this example, I'll edit this shot of an empty beach to my timeline. Next, superimpose your green screen clip onto V2 over top of your background video. Then, navigate to the Effects tab within the browser window and look for the Primat effect located under the Video Filters Key category. Drag the Primat effect onto the green screen clip. Double click on your green screen clip. This will load the clip into the viewer window. At the top of the viewer window, click on the Filters tab. Click on the eyedropper for the backing color. Use the eyedropper to select a green color from the canvas window. Adjust these controls to perfect your key. Click on the Motion tab to crop out any excess areas that you need keyed out. Within the Canvas window, turn on Image plus Wireframe to adjust the position and size of your keyed object. Next, launch the Apple Motion program. You can leave Final Cut Pro running in the background. Within Apple Motion, click on the Library tab and look for the Transport Particle located within the Sci-Fi category. Drag the Transport Particle into the center of the canvas window. Since the duration of the transport effect is relatively short, adjust the duration to 2 seconds. Navigate to the File menu to save the motion project. Move the library window over to the right to reveal the Final Cut Pro interface. Drag this motion project icon from the top of Motion's canvas window into the Final Cut Pro browser window. OK. Edit the transport beam onto V3 above your green screen clip. Double click on the transport beam clip. This loads it into the viewer window. Use the image plus wireframe mode within the canvas window to line up the transport beam with the position of your talent. Next, you'll need to trim back the green screen clip a bit to give the illusion that your talent is being beamed in. Right click on the transition point to add a dissolve. That's it, back up and watch the sequence. For more tips like this, or to enroll in a Final Cut Studio training course, visit GeniusDV.com.